Synthetic Cannabinoids, United States, U.S. Army Public Health Center, Cannabidiol Fapping synthetic cannabinoid oil can be lethal, two Marines dead, dozens in hospital. The Army is seeing an increase in emergency room visits linked to vapping synthetic cannabinoid oil. Two have died and more than 60 soldiers were hospitalized due to this emerging public health threat. The United States Army Public Health Center has issued a health alert warning the public on the health effects of vape oil containing unknown substances. The advisory said users of e-cigarettes and vaporizer pens must ensure that the products they Purchase do not contain cannabidiol oil, tetrahydrocannabinol, or synthetic cannabinoids. The Army banned the use of pot and other products derived from marijuana. So some soldiers use synthetic oil through vapping. Consumer vigilance on vapping. Consumers must be extremely vigilant if they are going to use vapping oils and should seek medical attention immediately if they feel they are having an adverse reaction to one of these products, says Chanel Weaver, a spokesperson for the center. An estimate of 60 patients with medical conditions potentially related to vapping were admitted to the Womack Army Medical Center at Fort Bragg and at the Naval Medical Center at Camp Lejeune. The hospitalized troops experienced symptoms including headache, nausea, vomiting, palpitation, dizziness, agitation, and seizures. Two service members died from accidents resulting from seizures. While a soldier suffered a significant neurological damage due to seizure. Four public cases have been reported in North Carolina and 33 cases in Utah all from the use synthetic cannabinoids. What is cannabidiol? Cannabinoid is the primary psychoactive compound in cannabis. The most common cannabinoid is the phytocannabinoid. Cannabidiol or CBD is extracted from cannabis and exhibits various effects. CBD oil, also known as hemp oil, is a derivative of cannabidiol. CBD oil is made from high CBP, low THC hemp. Over the years, it has become a much sought after compound and is now widely available in drug stores and groceries. A person doesn't need a medical card to purchase CBD oil. These chemical substances are designed to mimic the effects of cannabis or pot. The CBD works by interacting through the body's endocannabinoid system. This system regulates the body's homeostasis or general state of balance and impacts functions such as mood, sleep, appetite, hormone regulation, pain, and immune response. The use of e-cigarettes and vapes have been officially banned in the United States Navy on May. 14, 2017, after incidents of exploding vapping equipment that caused serious injuries to soldiers aboard ships. Unknown substances in vapes. This health concern problem may spread quickly across the Army because of soldiers' use of vapping products. The health of our forces remains a top priority and we are working diligently to better educate our soldiers on the potentially adverse health effects associated with using vapping oils with unknown substances, said Weaver. Aside from CBD, THC, and synthetic cannabinoids, vape oils may contain other undisclosed substances that may contain illegal and potentially harmful substances since most vapes are made up of unknown products. Consumers may unintentionally purchase and use CBD, THC, and other synthetic cannabinoids. Stopping this vapping trend is among the Army's top priority especially with the rising health threat.
An alarming number of military personnel were sent to the hospital in January after experiencing health problems potentially related to cannabidiol CBD oil. The U.S. Army has since warned the public about the possible dangers of vaping synthetic cannabinoid, a non-psychoactive ingredient found in cannabis. Two medical centers in North Carolina have treated more than 60 patients from the military who arrived with symptoms possibly related to vaping products with CBD oil. According to a statement issued by the Army Public Health Center, an additional 33 troops with similar symptoms visited doctors in Utah. The Associated Press reports. Related, marijuana-infused gummies unknowingly handed out by elementary school student to classmates. The warning advised soldiers to stay away from all e-cigarettes and vapor pens that may contain CBD oil, tetrahydrocannabinol THC, or synthetic cannabinoids. Officials acknowledge that there's not concrete evidence pure CBD can contribute to ill health, but the oils most likely have synthetic CBD. THC, the psychoactive ingredient in cannabis, or other compounds in place of pure CBD oil. Trending, aid remains locked in Syria as UN urges Russia, Iran and Turkey to de-escalate fighting. Patients' symptoms ranged from headache and nausea to confusion, disorientation, and seizure. Two Marines who experienced seizures ended up dying from falls or accidents, the center reports. The problem has the potential to spread quickly across the Army. Officials warned in the statement, A woman poses while smoking a vape stick at the Cannabis World Congress Expo on June 19, 2015. In New York City, the U.S. Army has issued a warning against synthetic cannabinoid vaping. Andrew Burton, Getty Images. Current U.S. Army regulations prohibit soldiers from using marijuana or any other cannabis-based products. Therefore, many often turn to synthetic products, CBS News reports. The health of our forces remains a top priority. And we are working diligently to better educate our soldiers on the potentially adverse health effects associated with using vapping oils with unknown substances. Chanel S. Weaver, a spokesperson for the Army Public Health Center, told the Fayetteville Observer. Most popular, how would Trump attack North Korea? President considering, bloody nose, strike, reports say. Related, mysterious, rare illness linked to smoking weed causes severe screaming and vomiting. Weaver also noted that the center will continue to monitor this issue and provide updates as new information becomes available. In April, the U.S. Navy banned e-cigarettes due to safety, not health concerns. According to Navy Times, that new policy came in the wake of several devices exploding and causing serious injuries, including burns and facial disfigurement. Among soldiers aboard ships, the ban officially went into effect on May 14, 2017. Army, 60 hospitalizations, two deaths blamed on vaping synthetic oils. Jacksonville, N.C., A.P., the U.S. Army is warning about the dangers of vaping synthetic cannabinoid oil after about 60 soldiers and Marines in North Carolina and 33 troops in Utah experienced serious medical problems in January. In a Monday public health alert, the U.S. Army Public Health Center said military personnel have suffered headaches, nausea, vomiting, palpitations, dilated pupils, dizziness, agitation and seizures. All these symptoms are associated with synthetic cannabinoids. 
Two Marines have died in accidents blamed on synthetic cannabinoid-induced seizures. Army regulations ban the use of so-called CBD oil or any products derived from marijuana. So some soldiers are using synthetic replacement oil. Public Health Center spokeswoman Chanel S. Weaver tells the Fayetteville Observer that stopping this trend is a top priority.